We talked about being off book. Uh, being off book is, is incredibly important because it helps you be able to connect to your reader. You kind of break the spell for me when you're looking down in the, when you're like, I lo love you. <laughs> yeah, so you, you've got to be able to be off book so that you can connect with who you're reading with. <coughs> Uh, and it makes you present in the scene. Um, and it also, if it, being off book means you're going to be on your toes for that rare moment that a director actually gives you some direction. I work with this director that is very articulate with actors, and he loves actors, and he will give you, after you read the scene and, and he can see that you're someone that he wants to work with, he might give you four or five notes. He might even give you some blocking. You know. Walk in, walk into frame, and come in and sit down, and and you know he'll give you some very specific notes. If you're not off book, your head will explode by all the things that he's trying to tell you because you won't be able to absorb them. So it it actually frees you up. And if you know if you're having nerves, it's because you're not prepared. If you're totally prepared, you're going to come in and just like want to jump into that scene. Um, so you'll be able to take direction because you're completely prepared. In these initial auditions, we talked about holding the sides in front of you. It's totally fine to do that. Turn the scenes as you go along. Um, and if you have a total freak out, like, I, I mean, if you miss a line or, can't, or, or go up on your lines and you freak out, it's all about how you handle it. it did, did I tell you the tightrope walker analogy last night? So imagine. So I look at auditioning as kind of like a tightrope walker. So you're, you're an audience at the circus, and there's a tightrope walker going across this, this very high tightrope. And he misses his footing, and he, also, he almost falls. But he recovers gracefully. And the whole audience is up on their feet. Yay, oh my god, because he just did the most amazing thing. He recovered. Now, if you're auditioning, and you miss a line, and you have a complete meltdown, like, oh my god. I'm so sorry. Can I please start again? I always do. Damn it. I always do. Can I please start again? That puts us off because if you are reacting like this and having a meltdown in the audition room, we, I can only imagine what you're going to do on the set when the clock is ticking and we're spending money. You know, that, that gives me pause. But if you screw up a line and you say, I'm going to start over. And then you just start over, and you recover gracefully. Or you say, give me a second, you look down, you find out where you are, and you continue going. That, you know, we're going to root for you when you do stuff like that. It's how you handle it that makes us uh, feel like we're in good hands. You know, if you handle it well, I feel like, oh, he's totally got it. He's, he's fine. Uh, I mean, again, like you didn't run out of anybody's puppies here. It's not a big deal. You missed a line, so what? But it's how you react to that that uh, makes us feel like we have confidence in you.